I'm titling this um, the mini bike with sidecar for the common man. I'm going to walk around and show you how it's set up. Then I'll put the camera down and explain a little bit. Go in a little bit and show you how it hooks up. You'll notice that it's got U-clamps on it, both front and back. You'll also notice that it has the larger six and a half horse engine on this. This is the common doodle bug. You'll notice that it has a seat with a backrest and a grab bar. The tire is a 13 inch tire, pneumatic tire. I'll tip this up so you can see the bottom. And how that's attached. Pull it back down. wanted to make a sidecar for a mini bike, especially for somebody that doesn't know how to weld or have a welder. I do have a welder and I do know how to weld, but I want to say, make something that was a little bit better and easier for the general person. Everything on here I got from the local hardware store or had it down in my basement. Um, the, the seat is from Harbor Freight. They have a crawler seat and I will give a list of the things that I have on this for components. In fact this is two seats. I took two seats and made one out of it and also made a grab bar of what I had left. The tire is a 13 inch tire from Harbor Freight. The bottom of this is plywood, 3 quarter inch, 12 ply plywood with uh, what's called on the bottom as I showed you um, square drilled one quarter inch stock. The drilled portion of it makes it easier so you can just go ahead and bolt the bolts where you want to. I attached it to the mini bike via U-bolts. don't think they're too strong but they're extremely strong. In fact if you go look at a trailer and at any of the outlets, especially Harbor Freight, you'll sign, see that they use U-bolts as well to attach the wheels to the frame. you also see that I put the six and a half horse engine as opposed to the two and eight horse engine because the two and a half two and an eighth horse engine doesn't have enough power to hardly pull anybody up across the grass and the six and a half horsepower engine will pull them across the grass and the passenger the thing that you have to watch out for is this will go extremely fast for a bike of this size up to 45 miles an hour and you certainly wouldn't want to go that fast with a passenger because the slightest bump in the road will launch them and or you. So my suggestion is keep it below 10, 15 miles an hour and don't even approach 20 if you can avoid it. You'll see that, um, and I will include the dimensions, it took me about a week and a half to figure it out and figure out how I wanted to do it. It took me three days to build it, maybe two to three hours a day. I tried to make it look as good as possible. Fender and all was uh, down in the basement already. You'll notice, and I'm a large guy, if I get on, it's quite substantial. I can jump on this. In fact, the way I tested the bar stock, this one and a quarter squares, I took it, jumped on it. I'm about 270 pounds, and um, I couldn't bend it. Although I tried a couple of things like that at the hardware store and uh, took them in the back where nobody had seen me and jumped on them which is about equal to um, probably five six hundred pounds or more. You'll notice I have to move my knee a little bit but I'm a big guy. This is designed for a smaller statured person or your grandkids. If I move my knee it still can be turned and if I go sit down on it I just simply put my foot on the place where the um, thing is now for the um, 
foot peg, and away I go. Um, and you'll notice that uh, the plywood is three quarter inch plywood, but it's 12 ply, very strong. You know, you, um, the tire is a pneumatic tire. I want to make something that was simple. And uh, I haven't seen any plans for it whatsoever, and I'll include dimensions and everything. If I get enough people that are interested in this, I'll do a step by step build for this. Something fun for the grandkids. And you see the bottom again. It's kind of unfinished because I can't get this out of the basement. I made it so I could take the sidecar off and take everything upstairs and bolt the sidecar back on with the U bolts. Um, as far as the bottom's concerned, I'll cut all these off when I get it back upstairs and reinstall it. Um, I spent about $75 total, and that was inclusive of the Harbor Freight items, the plywood, the one and a quarter square uh, tubing, nut and miscellaneous nuts and bolts, etc. I did go, I, I'm, I'm a welder, but not that good of a welder. I did uh, go check to see what Molly Belinium steel would be, and then if I had somebody help me weld it up, about over $200. Like I said, I got 75 in this. Uh, and I don't think it would be any stronger. This is kind of like a unitized modern car body. Each component by itself is not that extremely strong, but put them together, it's a very, very rigid. As you can see, I got, I'll do it again. As you can see when I get on this thing, you can also see it's kind of small, and I, even in the back portion of it. I want to make sure you got your tire pumped up correctly, and I got to put a little more pressure in that tire. But that's about it. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube. I haven't seen very many sidecars. Most of them you have to sit in and not on, which I don't like. It's hard for you to get in. And most of them don't have any information as far as the build and the size, etc. And I want something simple that a person with a, a drill, hacksaw, and some um, wrenches could put together and have a nice looking sidecar without a great expense. Not sure how long you'd use it, but it'd be kind of fun. And again, I've seen uh, people use the sidecars on a mini bikes. The only place I've actually seen one is a pit bike, and a lot of them didn't put a seat on. They used the sidecar to transport pop or boxes of things over to their main site, which is hail site. So it's pretty interesting. Again, the trick of this is it can be bolted on and off. The mini bike can be used as normal, and go from there. Now, as far as the six and a half horse engines concerned. There's about six of them, and one gentleman has it on YouTube where he has six, about six or seven um, YouTube postings on how to put the six and a half horse Harbor Freight mo uh, larger motor on. This is simply, hopefully, can co uh, complement that. So if I get, uh, again, if I get enough hits on this, I'm going to. Uh, give a detailed build, and then I'll also, when I get this out, take some videos of me running up and down the street, maybe with a grandchild on. So take a look. If you think it's interest, interesting or you have any questions about it, fire a comment back to me. I'll answer best as I can. But it just looks like fun, and I had my grandkids down here to look at it already, and they loved it. They were ready to jump on and go. Enjoy.